Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to a Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4. It's been a while since I played this series, but Paradox were kind enough to let me have a go. And I thought I would explore Spain. Now, where are you, Spain? I always find dealing with the great powers a little bit... I don't know. It can be a little bit difficult because you're dealing with significant armies and what have you. Spain, on the other hand, is lots of fun because it ends up having a civil war quite early on. So that'll be fun, right? Let's do it. Spain. Iron Man Spain because I am hardcore. <laughs> okay, so we need to have a little look around. And I'm going to, first of all, uh, just work through... So a few things in here I want to look at. I want to look at the infrastructure. And I can see that we have room for lots of factories to go up. Now, if I was very clever, I would remember... <laughs> I would remember which provinces tended to revolt. And I would probably build all the factories there. However, that, that's kind of a bit cheaty. So I want to, I want to not do that, in fact. What I will do, though, is get on with some research. So the thing we should be looking at is, I mean, I think support weapons make a lot of sense, just in general. Uh, industry, I think we'll be able to trade for lots of stuff. When we're going to be relatively neutral, so I don't think we need to make synthetics just yet. I do want construction speed. And I think over here, production efficiency cap. I'm not sure what one of those is. Oh, it tells me. Uh, determines the maximum value for your product. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab some of that. More efficiency. So then we've got free civilian factories. And I can get them doing things. The kind of sensible thing to do is to usually load up on um, some civilian factories. So I'm pretty sure I'm okay chucking a couple in here here. I seem to recall the North was a pretty big hotbed of um, revolutionaryism. I should go and read a book on it. Uh, the, Civil, the Spanish Civil War is an interesting time. Really the birth of modern post-World War I warfare, I suppose you could say. And what do we got here? So I'm just going to let things tick slowly. So nine factories of the 16 are working on uh, maximum 15, so 9 are working there, and none of the others are working? Why, why aren't you working? No, never mind. Oh, I think we got some working on trade goods. So, if I find something somewhere, it'll probably tell me that. Oh, there we go. Uh, 7 are working on con consumer goods, and we've got some other goods that we're not trading for yet, but we're fine. Now, that's construction. Production... Okay, so free military factories. This is where we specify the equipment we want to use to... to fill up our military I suppose I can add more production lines but I don't need to in terms of basic weapons or support equipment and basic artillery are already being produced and those production lines are relatively efficient so I'm not, not perfect but they're not red so once a production line is up and running you got a set of factories working on something we do need some oil so we will try and fix that very shortly we have four factories working um, we could, uh, no, we don't need to add any more. That's fine. Uh, I might chuck one more, some more like that. What are we up to that? And that would give us seven out of seven factories. Seven out of seven military factories are busy chugging away producing equipment. We will need some aluminium and some oil. So I might trade for that now. Um... Aluminium. Who are we most friendly with? Switzerland. And you make aluminium. Um, how much do we need? Uh, we can only trade for 18. We have 147 free convoys. It would take us... I don't know, do we really need that much? Let's, let's just wait and see what happens when we turn the time on again. Uh, we'll let it run. Okay, free dockyards. Three or four. Destroyers and heavy cruisers. There we go. That's all the dockyards occupied. No divisions in basic training. So we have mountain divisions, infantry brigades. Let's have a look at this guy. So 
He's got engineering and some infantry. This guy has engineering and artillery. And what does the mountain brigade have? Well, mountain troops and artillery. No great surprise there. So, how much do I want to bother draining anyone up? Because it's just going to end up being used up in um, Civil War, isn't it? I might train these guys, though. We'll have infinite, and we'll set them deploying to... I uh, don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, um, what about Castile? Yeah, so they're going to deploy there once they get made. Uh, insufficient resources. Four oil and one, alum one aluminium. No national focus. Okay, so we don't have a fancy tech tree like everyone else. We're going to have a uh, generic one because we're Spain, but that's okay. So, or focus tree, I should say. We'll go for industrial effort, which will give us a little bit more um, industry research. That'd be nice. Meanwhile, we need for oil. Oil, oil, oil. We can trade for that from, from America. So, try, what? Just buy amount eight? Really? All right, that's the minimum we get, and we use it basically a, a civilian factory is going to make goods enough to trade for eight oil. And for aluminium, maybe we'll get that off France since it's nearby. And we'll have a eight F or one. Yep, that trade. Okay, so that's all uh, ticking along. That's okay. Production. That's all green. Good. Now, we do have a little bit of political capital, so I want to look at who we're going to be friends with. Now, Spain. Hmm. Who are we friends with? Let me have a look. There's some different map modes here. Oh, that might be it. Uh, so Spain is supported by France. And by... I don't think that's... No, that's supply, isn't it? What am I doing? Any exciting map modes here? Ah, the Allies, the Axis, Neutral Powers, Common Turn, Japan. Yeah. And where's home? Where's home? Yay, New Zealand's on the map! Yeah, you know, there's actually a Tumblr which is maps which don't have New Zealand on it. Um, quite a lot of maps you find don't actually have New Zealand on it, which is a bit of a shame. There's me! Right... There. How excited are you right now? Pretty excited. Um, okay, now, uh, there's no one really super friendly to us. I want to build up English friendship. Improve relations. I need a bunch more of this political power before I do that, unfortunately. So we'll just have to wait for that. I have turned off the day-night cycle because it looks like this, and I confess it drives me slightly... Um, batty when you're dealing with so much stuff uh yeah we'll just leave that off and have a nice shiny normal day every day so we own a little bit of north africa great and that's us player that's a terrible name for a person uh people should never be called player i mean okay improved diplomacy what do they think of us so far what they don't like us that much what about america America, you've got... Oh, you like us. You like us. Oh, that's great. Same ideology. Of course we are. We're very similar. Allies, I... W uh, do I want... No, Americans are not, are not interventionist at all. So I think we're going to improve relations with the Brits. I don't know if that will really help us, but it's worth a shot. So we don't have much political in influence. Democratic. And we can't afford to recruit any advisors yet. We have airfields here, which is good. Zero of 200 aeroplanes. Yeah, that'd be about right at this, this point in the game. And our armies are scattered around. That, that seemed to be a nice peacetime deployment there. And what do they look like while we wait for things to pick up? So they're trained. And I can... Whoa. 81% fighting strength. Waiting for equipment to be produced. Infantry equipment, towed artillery, support artillery. Are we actually producing enough of that? Not quite. Interesting. Not quite at all. We definitely need more factories, but... What are we going to do? We don't have any yet. We'll have to wait for our focuses to come through. Alright, this feels important. Time to pause. The Second Republic has proven to be a fragile existence. 
Um, the popular front left wing groups, communists and anarchists at the far right wing opposition encompassing conservatives, monarchists and fascists is beginning to unite for the cause of bringing down the popular front. Uh, okay, which one should we do? We're gonna, we're going to be, uh, right, I think we're gonna become a popular front. We're going to go Republic, if we can help it. Yeah, look at that guy, he looks like he's very expert. So, Republicans, Communists, um, not Communists and Republicans, and Radicals. I don't know who they <laughs> Okay, so... Fascists, yeah, they've got 41% of the of the vote. That's kind of a worry. Never mind. Okay, so uh, Rhineland has been remilitarized. We don't have to worry about that, of course, do we? We've got important things to worry about, like... Oh, you know, construction effort. Now, I want those factories. I don't want the troops to get behind in their gear. So we're just going to tick along with that for a second. Now, logistics... Infantry equipment is really dropping. We're okay on other stuff. I uh, yeah, I think it's time to drop. And is that gonna sort it out? Eh. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. We could. We could cancel the production of stuff. I, I don't know. I think I'm okay with it working like that. So current war score is 1% because the Germans occupied the Rhineland. And it's only 1% because you know, the Rhineland was pretty German. And then it got taken off them. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it when you can't find the Rhineland when you want it. Never mind. Uh, it'll be a long list on me. So they've taken it back, which is... Made everyone slightly worried, but not especially worried, which is good. We have a bunch of convoys. Only eight in use. That's good. Do... Whoa. Okay, so we've got the armaments. Um, A little bit of political power might be helpful. So we're going to go down this liberty focus, hopefully, which re republicanism will suit. Um, yep, yeah, let's, let's do that. What was that? I'll find out in a second. Deploy units. Um, I don't know, like, kind of Castile? Yeah, just dump them there. Oh, here we go. You, you don't... Castile. There we go. So, that's good. Uh, what else do you want to know? You have to go to Castile. That's fine. Military resources. Still not quite enough. But that's okay. And how are our fleets? Oh, we're producing a bunch of spares, I think. We're not actually... I mean, we're producing bits and bobs for these ships. We're not actually producing any more right now. And I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Actually, no. What am I saying? I think we are producing them. Where are they? Where are you, fleets? I will find you. Naval shenanigans. Okay, so we got... All right ports here, and what's in here? Okay, so a bunch of submarines and a bunch of destroyers, good. That's probably okay. And submarines and just cruisers. Okay, and down here we have, oh there's a mountain brigade, <laughs> mountain brigade on the Canary Islands. What's it what's it gonna do? Oh well, we'll guard it with our lives, of course. Alright. Why are you not happy with my deployments? I've told you to deploy. You should be happy. Uh what are you? Horse? Horse what? Cavalry? That sucks. We're not well Oh, I can choose symbol. Cool. Um, can I switch you around for a mobile battalion? Um, mobile battalions, only cavalry is available. Ugh. Well, 
I don't know. I think we're just going to leave it. We're not an imminent, imminent threat of war. So we just want to build up. I think for now. Alright. Machine tools. Great. More efficiency. And more of that as well. So concentrated industry factory output is... I think we'll go concentrated. That, that could be bad. I don't think it'll matter. I think we will eventually clear the civil war and we'll have a, a good industri industrial base. Um, now you could quite usefully do interwar artillery. Uh, Anti-air. No. You know what? Great war tanks. I mean, at least getting something going there, Spain. It's a bit embarrassing. Can't even field an armored box on tracks. Well, never mind. And planes. So we do have a naval bomber squadron here and a fighter squadron stationed there. What's over here? More fighters. No. Oh, no others. Nope, that's our three airports. Oh, there is an air airport there, but no, no military on them. That's fine. I'm just waiting for the war to happen pretty soon now. I sped things up. So we might just have to wait a little bit. So what are we doing for construction? We've got a bunch of factories going in and some of them are being used to produce consumer goods and trade goods. So we're kind of just going to have to wait for some of these factories to finish. You're going to take their own sweet time. Okay, so oh, let me just check this. Okay, construction speed has gone up. Um, do we have any extraction? Uh, do we have any resources? Uh, where is the resource view mode? Diplomacy. Resources. Oh, yeah. Wow. Steel. Tungsten. Steel. Okay, well... Anything else? It's just steel and tungsten. Spain. You need to do a lot better. Discover something important. In the ground somewhere. So, research slot. Um... Seems a bit of a waste to go down that one extraction. However, synthetic oil? It's not. Is it 1937 yet? No. I don't know. It doesn't seem that bad. Engineering, on the other hand. Electronics for research time? Seems like a good idea. Modify government. So we can pick up some political advisors here. Uh, same ideology opinion. Um, it seems like a good idea to build our... No, we're not fascists. Uh, daily democracy support. Same faction. What What are you, democratic? Same faction. Ideological crusader seems like a really good idea. So, daily change. Republicans. It. Which way is it going? No one seems to be moving. All right, what are you doing? And here we've got a civilian economy. Export focused. Okay, let's have a look. We have picked up a bunch of political capital, so that's that's great news. Liberty will give us trade deal opinion factor plus twenty percent. What does volunteer cause cause? Well, we can send volunteers. We kind of want to receive volunteers. Liberty ethos. Uh, hmm, trade deal opinion factor. Do we need a trade deal opinion factor? Uh, I don't know. Compared to maybe construction effort? One civilian factory. One, yeah, I think we'll do that. Probably should have done that right at the start. I can now recruit more. But I want to see what I can do with my... Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Why, why the game didn't pause for the Civil War? I have, have no idea. So let's read this closely. A group of powerful generals in the armed forces have issued a pronunciamento, pronunciamento denouncing the current government of Spain. Never! We are very nice people. We just launched a guy who was extremely passionate. Um, we recruited. So we launched a right-wing group, blah, 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 blah. They failed to capture any of Spain's major cities with the exception of Sevilla. Or Sevilla. 
Um, leftist volunteers are meanwhile flocking to the banners of the Republican government, ready to support it against the rebels. These loyalists may be poorly trained, but no one can question the enthusiasm. The battle lines have been drawn. Which one should we support? Republicans, of course. Civil war has erupted in Spain. Spanish generals. Stop! Stop! I'm reading the newspaper. I don't take three days to read it. Just give me a second, alright, game? I'm gonna turn that just right down. Um... Okay, right-wing nationalists, loyalist forces and volunteers, to victory, okay, um, declare war, alright, so, we, okay, let's figure this out, modify government, what can we do, so here's Jose Diaz, who's a communist, well, and they have, yeah, the communists have a big, big faction support there, research and production, is there anyone I could... A tank designer? <laughs> I don't think... Ah, uh, really? I'm a research time. I don't think we need a tank designer right now. Um, artillery designer, industrial equipment designer, small arms research. These are not things... Industrial... These are just a research bonuses. Fine. Army defense. Div division defense. Maneuver offense. That could be good. Captain of industry, but, uh, democratic, communist, fascist demagogue. I think we're going to go with the army defense expert, which might really help all of our air wings with no mission. All right, so let's go back to here. I have... Hmm. Okay, so air wing. Naval, naval bomber? What are you, What are you going to do? Um, wow. <laughs> Did we? All right, how about? Let me just check again. There are. Okay, so. Naval bomber, you could fly over the Atlantic and. Where are the orders gone? I don't. Uh, Alright, cool. So they're all assigned to... Actually, no, not, not you guys. I don't want you. What I want is the naval bombers, and I want them... Uh, I think they don't have particular orders unless they do something. I just want you hovering... Okay, over the western mid. Fine, what if? Um, now, we have these guys. I want you to rebase. Um... Can I get you to rebase? It was in here somewhere. Uh, it was. Okay, rebasing. I think they must be. And any other air... Oh. Ooh. Okay, what's going on here? Um, right, so... Well, I am slightly confused. We'll leave that for a second. That's all the Air Force we have. You guys are just going to have to defend yourselves. Can I get a defensive line here? Yep, yeah, maybe. Uh, over here, we could. No, just defensive line here. I don't know. Is that a river? Maybe we won't do it like that. Front line. Alright, game. Do it like that. And you say... Oh, gosh. This looks hard. Uh, mountain division there. There's a lot. What about... A front line like no I think we'll have a fallback position around Madrid yep that's you guys they should be transiting okay good 
So yeah, you guys rebase and then we'll assign you. Now up here, hmm. We've got quite a stack here, so I'm okay with putting them into a front line there. Now this, oh, this big stack here, can we give you a commander? Yep. And over here, the defense of Madrid, gonna recruit a commander. You're terrible. Uh, we're out of one. Uh, Okay, that's our political points spent. So we're fairly terrible. Oh, six over here. Okay, you guys. Wonder if we can close this pocket up here. So we need to do that by basically defending something like that. Okay, so wow, that's gonna. This is gonna be tough. What can we do about diplomacy? Can we talk to these guys? Uh, offer, offer military access? Nope. Nothing. What about America? America, will you talk to us? All right. <sighs> Nothing helpful there. So, non-aggression pact request from the Soviet Union. Send volunteers from Soviet Union. Yes, we'll want those. And non-aggression. Okay, so let's do this wants us to sign a pact of non-aggression absolutely we'll take any help yes that's not very many uh well okay shy gang i don't even know what you are nationalist spain unread port strike results there are unread port strikes victory iberian sea okay what is in here if anything one fleet I kind of want to get the fleets together. Now, what have we got down here for fleets? Um, hmm. Submarines. Uh, select. And I want to have you patrol. Search and destroy. Convoy raiding. Okay, we'll have you search and destroy. And you, like cruiser, it's all, it's all meet up here. Do we have any other? Nope, they've gone Republican. I mean, sorry, net fascist. Damn fascists everywhere. What are you? Oh, uh... You guys... Oh, do I want to risk it? See if you can make it. Why don't you just try patrolling here? I a battleship, a light cruiser, and two destroyers. That's not exactly a, a massive fleet, is it? And as we're over here, right? Well, this is where we just want that one. Uh, okay, and we want to add internet international brigades. What are they like? Just a bunch of dudes. Not that many. 90 to 150. And that's compared to... 240. Oh, these are decent. They have engineers. You know what? We need these. We need them really badly. And I'm going to try and drop them into... Catalonia. Because I really do want to see if I can push this pocket here. Now, these guys are the next army, and they need to hold this line all by themselves. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Hmm. Production. We are... Wow, no factories assigned. What are we on? Five military factories and two ports. I'm happy with the destroyers being built. It's already going to be tough enough with the trade issue. Five military factories. Wow, we're really short. We're just going to have to... Volunteer forces are in transit. Good. Insufficient resources. What do we need? It's not... 
Okay, production. We need a whole bunch of steel. Alright. Steel. Who is going to be friendly with us? United Kingdom. And you'll trade. Eight. We have 15 free. Okay. I, oh, I can't figure out where the convoy escort or the convoy view is. Let me try. Oh wow, they're all low on equipment there. Um, right, okay. So, what? I, maybe I'll take these guys and ask them to come out here and to do convoy escort. Can they do convoy escort all the way? No. I think that's okay. Uh, oh, that's fine. We'll let them do it. We'll let them get on with it. Anyway, it's probably time. I've been going on for 31 minutes and the war is about to start. It's probably a good time for me to stop and we'll continue the war in the next episode. Do subscribe and you'll catch us fighting the Spanish Civil War and of course winning and defeating the evil nationalists if we are very lucky. No? Maybe better than lucky? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Wish, wish me luck. Give me good advice in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Appreciate having you here. Have a great night.